That lady got a husband and seven kids. Hello, friends. Welcome. Um, <laughs> I am in my car right now because there was like a whole lot going on. I, I have so much stuff going on. And y'all know when like something is 100% your fault. Like I came all the way over here because my pet was getting, well, my pet, my dog was getting groomed. And she said that it would be done around like two o'clock. So I got here. So I was like, okay, let me just record a video. Let me do my hair and my makeup. Let me do a video while I'm waiting for him. Girl, I forgot my wallet. So I had to go all the way back home, come all the way back. It was like a whole thing, but neither here nor there. It was 100% my fault, but I'm just like, dang, uh, why did I have to forget my wallet? That's why I never take my wallet out of my purse, but I had to do something with my driver's license. So I had to take it out anyway. Another thing is your girl severed a piece of her finger off trying to cut some steak. So like a part of my finger is missing. Like it literally like this part, this side piece right here, that extra piece of skin from like your nail right here. And my nails are dirty because I dyed my sister's uh, hair without gloves on yo this whole corner part of my fingertip on my pointer finger is gone i sliced it clean off so we are in recovery um your daily reminder to be careful when you cut because you can cut a part of your finger off it is so crazy how easy like it just came off so anyway, don't mind my severed finger and this ugly band-aid. It was just, blood got everywhere, yo. Like, oh my God. So just be careful, guys. Um, <laughs> anywho, that's not what this video is about. So I am on my period and it is really being a period and it has me just contemplating life life itself the meaning and everything and i feel like y'all know what i mean and in the like whole uh of it all i have been deeply thinking about the conversation of children because like hear me out hear me out i really like I really just want insight I truly just want a like raw and honest conversation on all angles and all like perspectives if you had a kid young if you had your kids old if you didn't have kids like I just really want to have this conversation because let me just even tell y'all how I got here, right? So like I told y'all, I don't know what it is about turning 25 that like altered my brain a little bit to be like, okay, like what do you wanna do? What's going on? Like what is life, right? So I mentally, I feel like I'm 16. I don't feel like I am 25 it's crazy because like now I'm encountering things that like come with age right so I got married I don't feel like a married woman I don't feel like somebody's wife like I just I just don't I don't know what it is but like call me immature or whatever but like but you know I'm 25 sounds about right you know this is when people you know start getting married well of course the topic of children comes up because these are things that you have to think about and it's crazy because it started like to me kids just seem like so far away but when I had my gynecologist appointment and I told y'all I have like issues with my thyroid she was like do you plan on having kids anytime soon and to me like anytime soon is like no the fuck like i'm not having kids till like <laughs> later later and to me i still feel like i'm 19 you know like so to me like later later seems a lot later but like in my age 
it's a lot closer like these are realistic conversations you need to think about so she like told me that and I'm just like dang yeah that is true because like you really do have to start thinking about it and then like adult years like five years is like two days like it's crazy how like your time really does just like feel like it's speeding up and my husband I knew this was gonna happen his sister just had a baby and he stayed with her for like a week to help her with her baby and I knew I was like this man is gonna come back with the heaviest baby fever and guess what happened he came back with the heaviest baby fever and now he's like actually like we've both always said that we wanted kids and for me I always said I wanted kids like when I girl I was 13 telling my mom I'm gonna have my first kid at 21 I'm gonna have my second kid at 25 like I would always say stuff like that and I think I told y'all too like I wanted like five kids I wanted like three of my own and to adopt two like I always wanted like a big family I wanted to adopt I wanted my own like I just always thought about being a mom and when I got with my boyfriend I or husband whatever when I got with him I was at like you know I told him I remember like when we were talking like when we first started getting to know each other we started talking about like oh do you want kids because you know that's a big deal so I was like yeah I think ideally I would like three kids like so that I met my boyfriend when I was 21 and I told him that I wanted three kids and it seems as the older I get the lower that number gets like if you were to ask me when I was 16 I wanted five kids got a little bit older and I'm like I don't know if I want five like maybe you know maybe three I think three would be cool and I even told him I was like I would do like two and then like five years later I'd do three as I got older it started like you know I think I would be okay with just two kids because my husband just wanted two. like he just wants two, and he ideally he's like that ideally I want a boy and a girl and be done then I was like, no, I I, I think I'll, I'll do two. Okay, cool. <laughs> Got a little bit older. And I'm like, I think I would be okay with one. Like, I think I would just be perfectly fine with one. And then I'm like, I don't really know if I want kids for real. Like, and this is why I wanted to make this video, right? Because I'm just going to say the things that like a lot of people like don't really want to say or like I don't know some people like uh, we'll get to that anyway so now like because this is this is my thought process I like kids and I want to be a mom in theory like I truly would love to be the mom that I wish I had and I don't know if I'm gonna make videos in reference to my mother or like my upbringing and stuff like that but to say the least I I don't have a best friend relationship with my mom like and I always envied that with other people and I would love to give my kids everything that I didn't have. And the idea of that is, it does sound fulfilling. And it does sound like I just, and I know because I have two sides of it, right? I have a sister who has two kids and I have a sister who wants no kids. If she could take her ovaries out today, she would. That's how like, I don't want kids she is. And she's so certain about that. And she knows for a fact like she does not want kids. And then my oldest sister, she was always indifferent. She was like, oh, if they happen, they happen. If they don't, they don't. She didn't have, she was married for 10 years and then she had my nephews and she's you know does the whole thing of like now that she had them 
she's like i don't know how my i don't know what my life would be like without them like it's so rewarding it's the hardest job ever but i just couldn't live my life without them i don't know how i did life before them and she has like that whole thing and where i fall is like like i said i like the idea in theory like i love my nephews and i'm just like oh my god like you're perfect you're so pure you the world is your oyster like i just i can't wait to just do life with my nephews they're just it is i understand that fulfilling part so that's why i mean i like the idea of being a mom in theory but i don't know like this is gonna sound stupid, but like, I don't wanna wake up at six in the morning to take them to school. <laughs> I don't want to deal, like, because like when you think about like kids, that's what you think about, like, oh my God, like I'm gonna have this like kid and I get to do everything that I wish. If you wanna be a good parent anyway, because that's a whole other conversation, but like I just want to give my kid everything that I didn't have and I want to do this with them and I hope that they're like so smart and they fulfill and all this all the good stuff sounds good but it's just like I don't really want to like prioritize your nap time like I don't want to give up like my day because I gotta wake up at six in the morning then I gotta pick you up from school then <sighs> my parents right like we played volleyball in season and off season so it's like their saturdays and sundays was about us and as a kid like they're so ungrateful like we were ungrateful as hell we thought that that was like regular like duh like that's what you're supposed to do and it's just like money 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 give me money give me money and like those are the aspects like the realities of having a kid is what really just doesn't make me want to have them like I don't know if I truly want to spend my entire weekend at a volleyball game. Like, <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. Or, like, you you come up on, like, money, right? Because that's the biggest thing about having kids is, like, I don't care what anybody says. They cost a lot of freaking money. Like, they are a liability. Like, oh, my God. And it's just like, you know, you were going to do something for yourself. Oh, psych, little Debbie decided to break her arm. And the money that you were going to use for whatever it is, is going to her arm now. Like, you know what I mean? And like, those are the things that I I don't know if I'm like overthinking it. Or if I'm just not mature yet. Because this is how I, this is, I keep saying this is how I think this is, obviously this is how I think, you know? Me personally, I truly believe that yes, once you have a kid, your life stops. Like, I don't care. Like, and that's just my mentality. And that's why I don't really, maybe this is wrong, I don't know. I don't really sympathize with a lot of people because it's like, you made the adult decision to have a child so yeah like obviously your money should be going to your kid obviously your stuff goes on the back burner because at the end of the day like kids depend on you they didn't ask to be here they have no control over you had the control over your life and you decided to have a kid the kid has no kind of like decision making they had no control they have nothing so it's like I do feel like it is a really big sacrifice to be a mom and I feel like that's the biggest reason why like because I know how big of a sacrifice that is it like deters me from wanting to make that sacrifice you know what I mean because it's like you hear all the time where it's like the people that shouldn't be having kids just be popping them out and the people that would be really good parents don't have kids I do feel like I would fall under that because like I would I'll do anything for my kid two three jobs if it means like supporting them and getting everything but it's just like why would I even put myself in that position like and I don't know and that's why I'm saying like obviously I have plenty of time like I'm not in a rush to have children I always said like I don't have any issues being the old cool mom 
my parents my mom had me when she was 36 like and i had a, a great lifestyle emotionally mentally probably not lifestyle wise i was a-okay so like i feel like i'll i'll <laughs> i'll take my chances on just being like an old cool mom don't care about being a young mom but i really just wanted to know especially with something like this where i feel like there's so many walks of life and like i know that there are girls that had their kids at 16 like teen mom i don't think that show was a bad idea like people i remember when that show came out my mom did not want us watching it because they're like it's promoting teen pregnancy like girl you know you did not watch that show because that that does not promote teen pregnancy i think the drug i think the show did a very good job at showing like the realities of having a child and having a child in as a teenager but you see teen mom like some of these girls like have three four five kids because you know they had a, a kid young they showed how hard it was but obviously it was fulfilling it was rewarding to them they wanted to keep having more and like chelsea she's like the main one that's like i just i've always wanted to be a mom i can't see my life without like i couldn't see myself not being a mom so it's just like is does that like come to you i don't know but that's what i'm saying like everybody has like different paths and like different mentalities so i genuinely do want to know like if you had a kid young do you regret it like this is a safe space do you regret it or did it give you like was it hard but like you would do it all over again you wouldn't change anything if you waited to have kids because that's another thing everybody is like I, and that's the thing too like i'm so sorry if i'm all over the place but i just this is just like an open conversation it's like everybody talks about how hard it is some people talk about it being hard but being fulfilling some people get on tiktok and cry <laughs> and that's and that's honestly what sparked this conversation too because i'm like some days i'm like yeah i i think like you know obviously it's gonna be hard not to compare having a dog to a child but i do see parallels i feel like before you have a child you should have a dog just to see if you're ready for it because it's a commitment like and at the end of the day like they depend on you so like it's on you the dog can't eat without you they can't do anything without you so it's like i feel like that commitment and that like sacrifice it's kind of like obviously a lot less with a dog but it is kind of along the lines of the same thing but where was i saying with that oh but it's just like is it one of those things where it's like well you just gotta do it like yeah my dog literally the other day he had the runs at like three in the morning we were in and out of our house thank god he's potty trained so we were in and out of the house at three in the morning i'm half asleep trying to pick up poop i'm feeling bad because this dog is like shitting everywhere and i felt so bad and he's like crying and so it's like you know i had to do what i had to do yeah like i had to you know be up at three in the morning cleaning up poop you know making sure he's okay and stuff but that's it wasn't to me that's not that big of a deal and it's like okay like if i could do this for a dog like i could do this for a kid like you just gotta do what you gotta do and it, it'll come to you and it'll you know it'll just happen like you just get where you need to go with you know what you got and then i get on tiktok and then people are like like ugly crying about how like being a mom sucks and that they wish they like never did it and people don't tell people how hard it is and i'm just like okay well maybe i'm missing something like <laughs> am i missing something like i don't know and like even my sister like she has the money she has the husband she has the house so like on paper like she shouldn't have any difficulties she'd be having difficulties like she'd be calling us having breakdowns and stuff 
and granted she doesn't live next to my parents so maybe that part of the support doesn't help I don't know and but that's the thing is like at the end of the day like when you have a kid the village doesn't exist it really it truly doesn't and I see that now like it's because people can only do so much but at the end of the day like that is your child that is your responsibility people can only help you to a certain degree and like as much as I love my nephews and everything like I'm not their mom you know so that I can only do so much as their aunt being so involved because I am very involved in their lives but it's just like I'm not their mom I don't know I'm always looking at my sister like what is he asking for like what does he need and she knows exactly like what it is so like it is even though you do have help and you have support like at the end of the day those kids are looking for their mom they're looking for their dad like so I it's just like I always have this like back and forth and like my husband is he wants to be a dad like he and I know that I would have like 100% support I know that like in that aspect like I'd be good but then again I'd be getting scared because everybody's like you don't know the person you're with until you have a kid and I see that too like I've seen so many couples personally that I know they've been together for so long they have a kid and maybe it's because they didn't get married I don't know but like they have a kid they're not together no more and I'm like yeah you have me so messed up if you think I'm gonna sacrifice my body which is a whole other part of the conversation like I don't know like and this is why I'm making the video because people don't make it appealing and I don't know if it's like you don't make it appealing for a reason or because that's another thing maybe it's TikTok maybe TikTok is just you know my mom you asked my mom like her pregnancies were easy all three of us were easy she didn't have like I have good genetics, thank God. But, like, she didn't get stretch marks. She, my mom has no complaints about her pregnancy or how her body was after she got pregnant. Granted, she's a part of the boomers, so, like, they just be withholding information. So, you know, now my sister, she's like, yeah, um, I sweat a lot now. My armpit smelled really bad for the longest time. And I'm just like, oh my God. Uh, but you ask her, you ask my mom, nothing happened to her. She popped them out and life went as usual. You ask my sister, she's like, oh yeah, my boobs aren't the same. This isn't the same. My hips aren't the same. Everything is like not the same. She's like, but I do it all over again. Like, I loved being pregnant. I love my kids. I love that. And I'm just like, so I just be thinking like, okay, are people just talking shit or is it really fulfilling? Am I just not mature enough to have a child? Am I, if, am I over analyzing it? Am I under analyzing it? Like, because even though I do feel like I am over analyzing it, I just feel like, yeah you should because this is not this is a because that that's the thing that like I personally get annoyed with because people want babies they don't they don't think about like I'm raising an adult and that's why so many immature crazy annoying like uh people are out here in this world because once upon a time they were children and they were neglected children they were abused children they were you know like everybody has like different not everybody grows up in a loving amazing household with all these opportunities and blah 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 and it's just like yeah we can sit here all day about like people just shouldn't have babies but like they don't care they do it anyway so it's like I do think about that because like that's another thing the job is never done I call my dad at least like five times a week about anything 
and he's always like girl like <laughs> and that's the thing like my parents like i i can say a lot about them but that is one thing that like i don't care i best believe if i because I, I my my boyfriend didn't believe me i just told him because we were at the tampa airport and i was like honestly my parents are in miami and i was like i could call my dad right now because it was like 10 o'clock at night i was like i could call my dad right now and tell him i'm stuck at the airport he's gonna come pick me up and my boyfriend was like no he's not like why would he do that like they, they're like three and a half hours away like they're not gonna come all the way to tampa to come pick you up from the airport you better get it like an uber or something and it was a fake scenario i was like i i guarantee you he would tell me that he's gonna come pick me up i called my dad he was in the shower and i was like hey there's a lot going on right now. I'm stuck at the airport. Do you think you could come pick us up? My dad said, I'm in the shower. You'll just have to wait like 30 minutes for me to get out and put some clothes on and I'll be on my way. Like, hello. Yeah, I have a good dad in that sense. Like, <laughs> my dad is not gonna leave me as stranded at an airport. And I know that me and my husband are the same exact way. I would never leave my kid stranded at no freaking airport. I'm 24. I, well, I was 24 when I happened, when I did the fake scenario. I just laughed. I was like, no, I'm just playing. Like, this was a joke. Like, I was just I was just telling my boyfriend, like, that you would do it. And he was like, okay, are we done here? And I'm like, yeah, that was it. But I'm that way. Like, I know for a fact that I would drop whatever it is that I'm doing to attend to my child. And, like, that job is never done. It's never done done and like i don't know if it's like a cultural thing or like I, I don't know some americans i don't i don't see how y'all do it to be honest like i can go to my mom's house at any time eat her food like we didn't i don't know and i don't know if that's just an american thing i'm just kind of saying that as like a blanket statement because like it's a little bit more normalized in a hispanic household that like 18 means nothing like my parents weren't gonna kick me out at 18 i could have stayed in the house they wanted me to stay in the house until i got married like <laughs> so i don't know about all that for other cultures but like i know that like i it's just like what i'm saying like i know the severity of having a kid so like i just i don't know if i'm willing to do that kids are forever my aunt always told us that they're like she was like don't let five minutes ruin your life because kids are forever and obviously she was saying that when we were like 16 17 because she didn't want us getting pregnant but it's just like now no one's gonna look at me like crazy if i got pregnant more more people are gonna congratulate me because I like I'm married, I'm of age, like, you know, conventionally I'm supposed to be doing that. But I don't know. And and I really like this has been on my head heavy for so long because I'm like, can somebody tell me, does this just like come to you? Is this one of those things where it's just like ain't nothing to it but to do it? Like I just and like I feel like my channel has a lot of women obviously but I just of all demographics so I just really wanted to know like y'all's opinion like like I said this is a safe space if you had kids at 16 and you don't regret not one thing please let me know if you had kids at 37 and you don't regret it let me know if you are one of those people that didn't have kids and regrets not having them please let me know like or if you're just like me, if you're just kind of like up in the air about the whole situation, it's just like, I kind of want kids. I don't want to have kids. I don't know if it's time for me to have kids. I don't know if I like, you know what I mean? Because it's just, and just to get it out of the way, I know I have plenty of time. I'm not rushing it. Like, I, I, I definitely, now is not the time. I'm not going to have kids right now because it's just not a, the time to have children. Like, I ain't got no job. Like, what? <laughs> I don't have time to have kids right now. But I just wanted to open up that conversation because I want to know. Girl to girl. <laughs> girl to girl. Uh, do y'all want to have, do y'all want to have kids? 
and what do you think my sister says i'm immature she's like don't have kids right now like if you're saying all of this like you don't need to have kids but which fair i'm not having kids right now but um I don't know I feel like it's an important conversation to have and I feel like this generation is actually like shifting it because like I said you ask my mom like yo my mom okay three kids three daughters her husband was in the military my dad was gone all the time all the time and like I said like my mom doesn't she's not the most nurturing spirit she's very Caribbean in that aspect so but if you ask her like she wouldn't change a thing and i'm just like what do you mean you wouldn't change a thing like you wouldn't change the fact that your husband was always gone you wouldn't change the fact that you were literally in this country by yourself no help like we did not grow up like i i'm cool with my aunt now but she lived in puerto rico so she was only as like cool as you could be in puerto rico you know so like but we didn't have that like we didn't grow up with our cousins we didn't grow up going to grandma's house we didn't do none of that like we literally were just ourselves so to me i'm just like and mind you like my mom had my oldest sister at 21 21 you came from puerto rico didn't know no english came to united states my dad was in the military, so you're just moving around to all these places you don't know. And you, like, it's just crazy. Like, she's just like, no, like, I wouldn't change anything. Like, yeah, that's just what you did. Like, and then, like, their generation, because I have a theory, right? You know how, like, everybody says, like, this generation of grandparents suck because they're not, like they're not like as involved as like the older generations were i have a theory on that because i don't know everybody else but like i know for like the older people that i've spoken to my mom and dad's generation they were all left with their grandparents like my mom my dad like all them like they were just always left with their grandparents and so i feel like the boomer generation because they were just kind of like pushed to the grandparents like their parents their parents parents that like this generation of grandparents are like no you had the kid those are your responsibilities so i feel like that's why they're so hands-off now and that's why like our generation is just like what the hell like these these grandparents are so like not involved and i think that's why but that's a whole other conspiracy theory but yeah and then it's just like i feel like this generation is now a lot more honest about what it actually takes like pregnancy like there's so much information coming out that has this has been a thing forever like the whole you wear diapers after you have a baby thing everybody's had to go through that but i feel like this generation is the generation that actually talks about stuff like that and how like yeah you can have a baby and you're depressed and you don't want like postpartum is now being spoken about you know how many people i'm pretty sure like i'm pretty sure like maybe my mom did go through postpartum depression will she tell me that no and i feel like a lot of people in the older generation they just didn't talk about it and like a lot of mental health issues come from being pregnant just because of chemistry biology like just stuff you can't control and like the older generation doesn't talk about it but this new generation does and so it's like does that deter you from having kids because there's too much information out there or is it good that there's a lot of information out there for you to make an informed decision on whether or not that's something that you want to do i don't know i don't know and this is why i wanted to talk about it so let me know i want to hear what everybody has to say because i feel like this is one of those topic of conversations like meeting in the locker room like what's going on what is everybody thinking and i feel like it's beneficial because i told y'all like i do i feel like i am pivoting my content for more stuff like this like i just want to have open conversations about just stuff and like i want 
to just kind of like document i don't i don't know this is a whole other tangent that has nothing to do with this video but like i do want to like start documenting like parts of my life and like where i'm at because i do want to see five years from now maybe maybe five years from now i'm like pregnant with my fourth child like and i'm like i don't even know why i was talking like that i don't know where i would be without you know what i mean so i just think it's cool like I don't know navigating life as a young growing woman because that's so crazy like i don't feel it but then i do feel it because i be seeing these little kids coming off of the bus because i live next to a school and i see these little kids coming off of the bus and i'm just like "Ooh, i'm old like i can't relate to y'all at all like you guys i feel old Ugh, i cannot so i don't know i'm like trying to face the fact that like i'm not 16 and like i need to get my shit together but i'm also embracing the fact that like i'm not 40 so like i'm not supposed to have my shit together like i don't know so let's navigate life together and we're gonna get through this we're gonna get through this but let's talk about the whole baby conversation first because i feel like that could be beneficial to let's just start the conversation i just feel like it'll be beneficial to anybody if you're thinking about it if you have because like i do see a lot of girls because you see the debate all the time on twitter you see it all the time about like nobody's jealous like like how the people with kids are basically going against the people without kids and they're like nobody wants your life like and i i i do sympathize with that because i'm like i don't necessarily like would i would have wanted to have a kid at 21 no um do i think people should be shamed for having a kid at 21 no I don't think they should be shamed let me not even make that face i don't think they should be shamed i think you should i feel like if you had a kid young and you're doing what needs to be done like valid i just feel like there's a lot of people that just i, I but that's the thing that, that could happen at any age because i was gonna say people are like just popping out kids for the sake of popping them out and they're like bad parents but like you could be that at any age so it's like it, it, being young doesn't really have anything to do with it i think it's just more so how you are as a person so no i don't think people should be shamed i just make smart decisions <laughs> everybody needs to make smart decisions because you could be 37 and have a kid knowing good and well that that was not a smart decision so don't get me wrong on that but i do like i see that a lot where it's just like what some people don't have a problem there are so many young women out here that are like doing the mom thing and they wouldn't see their life any other way that's why i'm saying i want to have this talk because i just want to know i i truly inquiring minds would like to know what's going on out here so let me know what you guys think i'm not gonna keep dragging this conversation out any more than what it, i've already have but please let's talk about it and i also want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me i truly truly appreciate it especially if you're waiting to like especially if you got to this part of the video i truly truly appreciate it because this is what i love so much about youtube and the internet because you can really find your like tribe um and i just I, I really appreciate you guys and all your just like positivity and I'm setting it right back to you and thanks guys but anyway I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video bye